all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on devil may cry peak of combat and on today's video it is time that we do an updated version of the tier list okay i totally forgot to do the tier list when we dropped so on today's video we're gonna do the updated version we're gonna add count under virgil and v into the tier list now we're gonna remember the tier list because now after furthermore playing getting some characters that i didn't have before i know much more so let we start leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below and let's go i will add as well s plus i need to add s plus bro we're gonna see how everything will look like at the end but for now, we are adding S plus as well. Okay. Uh, God tier. Endless Judgment Virgil, 100% easily, easily God tier. Um, usable in both PvP and PV. Guys, mainly this will be a PV tier list. But okay, we will put a little bit of PvP in consideration as well here. Uh, you can use him in the co-op. You can use him in the Bloody Palace, you can use him in Boss Hunt, you can use him in Story, you can use him in literally every every kind of content. His combinations are crazy, his QT is insane, um, his damage is above everyone else, especially if you use the proper Judgment Cut, and overall super fast unit, easily to dodge, to, to dodge he can dash towards the uh, opponent like he does everything bro and when you learn to do a perfect judgment cut the damage aoe damage that you're gonna produce is actually insane and then the ultimate it goes through the whole map in my still today the best unit in the game okay let's just put it like this um okay now s plus s plus will go spark igniter uh, like I said, I will put, I will take as well here the PvP. Uh, she's the best PvP unit in the game, but also extremely usable in PvE. I don't see a reason why. She's a fire element, definitely um, really fast damage dealer. Uh, a, like her ultimate, it's superb on the ground, especially when there's multiple opponents going to you ultimate of her will be top tier but as well her skill where he um shoots the bullets in the air they stop you can go with attack and then those bullets will follow the opponent top tier super fast character um qt super fun super fun when she does that and other things i definitely think she deserves to be in the s plus s tier we're gonna see maybe maybe for now s tier okay but really close to the like between s and s plus bro easy 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 swift R. yeah let me put both of this in the s plus honestly guys swift arsenal when you build her up i have her now at sss ss plus is where she starts to shine like crazy because she, not only she will buff the physical damage but she was she will as well buff the electric team she is superb character free to play character and everyone can build her up that's why she can go easily into s plus tier with spark igniter now uh just because this is more like a pve tier list spark igniter i'll put in the s tier but definitely the best pvp unit in the game okay so that's my take here one man show easily goes into s plus tier i've been using him all around the place one of the best electric units in the game after count thunder uh, he's increasing that mp constantly and overall doing beautiful beautiful aoe damage he has the power to bring the opponents closer to you just superb electric character okay um also he can attack on the ground but still reach the air attacks so that's a really cool, cool thing about him the only disadvantage is the rest the rest between the attacks bef before the dodging you could take a lot of damage with him uh, the opponents could take a lot of damage to him and you wouldn't even notice because you're doing your attacks so that's his a little bit of weakness 
Demon Hunter goes into S tier, um, in my eyes. Definitely top tier character, free free to play character. You can build him up. Uh, he is so much powerful for weakening the character. His awakening state will give him increased physical damage and the, the decrease the uh, physical damage. Overall, he can be low key, really really tanky, and as well works super well with Swift Arsenal and Endless Judgment, weakening the attacks. Also, QT is super cool of his and doing pretty good damage, but we. Weakening attack for Endless Judgment Virgil is his main purpose in the game. Um, guys, Nomadic Lighting can go now easily into 8 towards the S tier, but seeing the S plus and S tier, I need to put him into A tier. But definitely now with Count Thunder Virgil, he's one of the best options. Like one man show, Nomadic Lighting and uh, one uh, and count under Virgil superb team also if you don't have nomadic lighting build up you can use Swift Arsenal with one man show and count under Virgil have that in mind one of the most powerful QTEs in the game one of the most broken PvP unit in the game but he really needs those dupes to build him up but when you build him up a S tier easy 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 uh, Nero can go into B tier uh, still a usable character fire character can be helpful in the combination of spark igniter and him nero for example wait can i do one second yeah 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 he's his fire element right if i go here in i have to do this realm conqueror but okay I i'm playing it easy because i want to save up some gems uh but yeah, yeah i only missing that ice realm okay 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 just double checking uh, Nero can go into B tier. Okay, and now the characters that I don't have, but I use them in into Hunter Trials. Some of them, some of them, I got the feedback from you guys. So this is what we're gonna do. Frosty Grace um, is one of the legendary characters that is not super good. I would even consider her putting into A tier, like A S tier, something like that. A uh, slow character for a legendary, not so much impressive. Let me do it like this. Okay, yeah, let, let me just do it like this. This this is now much better overall. In this game, as you can see, many of these, all of these characters are usable, guys. In the right team, with the right strategy, all of these characters are usable. Now, Frosty Grace, I believe she deserves to be an S tier. I used her, even though she's not super fast. I found her, find her super useful with V combination, and in that way, I believe she can shine now. Um, and she can do the damage, bro. Let's get real. She can do the damage, but yeah, she's slow. She's slow in comparison of the Swift Arsenal Spark Igniter. Nah, not not close. Not even close to that realm. Okay, Devil Crusher can go into S tier. Uh, Royal Guard can go into S plus tier, based on your feedback, guys. One of the highest, highest damage dealers in the game, but you need to learn how to play with him. Uh, Fist of Salvation can go as well into S plus tier. C tier won't exist here, okay? Let's see now. <laughs> Okay, now this one is, is a tough one. Th this one is a tough one, bro. Okay. Nero, like, let's get real. Endless Judgment Virgil is still the best out of all of them. But still, Devilbringer, Count Thunder, and V. Uh, yeah, I'm putting like this. I'm putting it like this. Maybe Fist of Sal Salvation these days can go into S tier. Yeah, not sure. Not sure. Maybe I should put it like this. Not 100% sure for him, but I still see him. Everyone use him all, all over the place. Okay. Okay, let me explain this. Devil Bringer, many people confirmed, uh, slightly worse than Endless Judgment. That's it. Didn't play with him. Tried him in the uh, Hunter Trial. Try DPS on point. DPS on point for the fire characters, the best in the game, hands down, hands down, hands down. He will carry. He will destroy. He can manipulate characters in the air, on the ground. Uh, 
two types of ultimates if i'm not mistaken uh superb character I, I believe he deserves to be god tier count under virgil only only when his ss tier he's got okay hands down he goes super close to the endless judgment if not even in some cases better than endless judgment okay but only ss if he's s rank he goes into between s plus and a s okay but when you reach him ss tier he goes easily into god tier okay and now we uh the character that i'm not sure guys s plus tier is superb broken tier for the characters okay have that in mind so even if i leave him as s plus he's the best out of all of these characters right here okay yeah i'll put him uh I, I i'm not sure bro i'm not sure for these characters can you please tell me in the description like in the comment section below where would you put royal guard and fist of salvation s tier or s plus tier okay for now guys don't attack me for these two characters but in my eyes based on your feedbacks and what i use them which i couldn't use them a lot only for the hunted trial and that's it i think they they, they can go easily into s plus tier because they're highly usable in co-op highly usable in any activity especially royal guard breaking those shields like crazy and doing massive damages and fist salvation has like this similar role i would say so I don't know. For these two characters, I have a question mark. I'm not sure either to put him S and S plus, and then a V. Okay, slow unit, but bro, bloody palace. He will dominate almost always. If I go here, this this bloody palace is more created for like electric electric characters, but the V can 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 push you here can push you here for sure although on this one most of the people are using virgil of course but v they tend to use him people tend to use him if i go into bot like he will do massive aoe damage okay do yeah he, he he is dominating in all of this okay now the virgil virgil here will be the best because of how it is yeah i, I will leave s plus for v I still don't find him god here, even though I know he's super good, he's super helpful, um, doing that massive AoE damages, he's using that monster, that golem, whatever you wanna call it, no one can touch him in the right moments, you can also as well attack with V. he's fast in that sense, but yeah, I would say, not my style of the character. Maybe for some he will be god tier, for me he goes into S+. Plus. But even though he's not my playstyle and not my style, I need, to, I need to acknowledge him and say, one of the strongest characters in the game, what I saw from other people, bro. And when you know how to use him properly, he can destroy the bosses, the bloody palace, he can, he can carry in some, in some situation, for sure. Okay, guys, again, not a perfect tier list. <laughs> like I said, I use now all of these characters, although some of them I didn't acquire. So for those that I didn't acquire yet, I don't know as much for as for those that I acquired. But overall, I think this is now much better tier list. I also put the cons in, in cons consideration a little bit of PvP. Mainly this is still PvE tier list, but Spark Igniter as being the best PvP unit in the game, hands down by far. She needs to go into S plus tier. Okay guys, uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Hopefully we improved the tier list. You're gonna give me your feedbacks. Again, I stand by this tier list. This is my opinion. I'm not just doing it like whatever. This is really what I think but of course there will be disagreements and some of you will disagree but that's the tier list okay that that's how it goes but definitely i always put every single feedback in consideration that's why i changed the frosty grace on today's video that's why i increased the um, tier of spark igniter of royal guard okay and now the big question for me is like that we hmm I'm double thinking, I'm, I'm red thinking now a few things, but for now, let, let's just leave it like this. It's really hard to adjust that SS plus tier. Here it's like super, super hard. And as well, A and B sometimes, in some cases, these, these characters shine as well like crazy. 
but yeah that will be it for now i don't want to complicate hope you did enjoy it leave a like subscribe and yeah see you next one bye guys